Good for you. Welcome to your love reading. Welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you're new here, I'm Emanuela, and on my channel, we have a secret Scooby Club thing going on. Uh, so if you're a returning viewer, subscriber, boo boo, you know how this goes. Uh, this is um, one of those channels where I am Scooby. I do reads for all signs, but th there's like a secret Scooby thing going on, um, and we uh, we take a look at your love situation today we're going to take a look at you and your person so whatever that means to you situation trap relationship bumble date marriage um who knows uh you know your situation best this is going to be a timeless reading so whenever it finds you boo boo it was probably meant to find you as long as it resonates for you it's going to be valid for the next three hours three days or three weeks from the moment that you watch this video or you know whatever applies to your situation um these things can be fluid and this is for Scorpio, sun moon rising and venus or if you have a lot of Scorpio in your trig boot let's get into your reading um we're going to ask the angels what the situation is between you and your person boo -boo. please show me angels what is happening for Scorpio and their person and what happened in the recent past to make the situation so please don't forget to like my video uh and subscribe turn on that notification button boo -boo. yeah the hermit okay i'm gonna take that and we pull three more because that's that was an extra card oh, 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 oh okay a lot going on here Scorpio. yeah this person foolishly didn't appreciate you and that's like you just don't do that to Scorpio. sorry um, but yeah, uh, if you vibe with my videos, Scorpio, uh, don't forget to like the video because it really, really helps me out. And especially if it resonates for you and you want to spread this message further, um, it, no one's going to see it unless without you, I don't exist. So if you don't like the video, it's, I might as well not, um, not put the message out there. So I really appreciate it. If you wanted to like uh, the video, it doesn't matter if you don't, I'll still love you, boo boo, because you're Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Um, but yeah, to get into the situation with your person. Oh, also, I have a uh, giveaway happening this month. Stick around till the end of this video and I'll tell you what is on offer. Um, you got the Hermit here. So that's the card that kind of jumped out like as soon as we started. The Hermit is telling me that you were feeling alone in this connection. Even if you were married to this person, uh, this connection felt lonely for you. This person didn't feel make you feel included. Oh, uh, Scorpio, this is such a bad vibe for Scorpio. Such a bad vibe for Scorpio. Oh, this person made such a big mistake. <laughs> they made you doubt this connection from the very beginning. Red flags. There were red flags all over this person, boo-boo. But you gave it a go because, Scorpio, you're, you're like me. You're Scorpio. You're like the king, queen, anyone in between of giving people chances. So you wanted to do the right thing, and you were thinking, probably when you met this person, if it was like a new connection, Bimbo Himbo from Bumble, you were like, well, I can't. you can't judge a book by its cover. I know I'm getting all these like red flags and stuff, but I need to be... You know, maybe I need to open myself up more to new connections and just not judge people so harshly. So you gave this person a chance with this hermit here. You gave this person a chance, but it was like big mistake. And there was like something telling you at the back of your mind, just like, you know, that nagging Scooby intuition, but you didn't listen to it because you wanted to do the right thing. You could have had like advice from uh, like your friends and family saying like, well, how long are you going to be single? Like you need to give someone a try and you did. If it, if it was a new connection, if it was a more established connection, uh, I feel like your friends, family, maybe people in your life were like assuming it was like perfect and they were giving you bad advice, you know, like maybe you had like the picket fence, maybe you had like the kids, you know, like the dog and the kids and the car and they were like, well, this is a perfect life. What do you want? Well, because this person was absent emotionally from the relationship, from the connection, you felt alone in it. This person would leave you alone for long periods of time or you felt neglected emotionally. You felt left alone emotionally you found out something Scorpio as one does when one is a Scorpio okay page of swords you found out something about this person you uncovered a secret about them they were hiding something from you oh they were trying so hard to hide something from you with the moon card here trying so hard but you know what like you were on to this person 
You can't hide that shit from Scorpio. Scorpio is the moon. Scorpio is the moon. Scorpio can see things in the darkness. <laughs> yeah, you saw right through it. Also, you could have had like a divine moment of inspiration. I feel strong goddess energy here. Uh, the goddess is protecting you, whatever that means to you. It can be, you know, the universe, God, whatever. But uh, I speak through the, the language of the goddess. Um, Seven of Wands here in the middle with this uh, situation. I feel like this person was really defensive about the porcupines they told you. They told you a bunch of porcupines. That was the thing, this emotional roller coaster here with the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck again. Let me pull another card to see what this person was lying about. But they were so defensive, they want you to find out what they were lying on. I feel like this person was just full of lies. I feel like it could have been one of those situations. Oh, Scorpio, but this person was just like, every time you peeled back a layer, uh, another lie came through. <laughs> Yeah, they lied about everything. I don't think this person is, I feel like you're dealing with someone. Yeah, and this fool thought you wouldn't find out. You're dealing with someone who's a habitual liar. Uh, this is chronic. This is someone who, they can't remember what is true and what is a lie anymore. They don't even know who they are anymore. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Uh, Eight of Swords here, this is what they lied about. They lied about everything. Uh, this person is a prisoner of their own thoughts and their own lies. Um, they wanted to gaslight you. They wanted to blind you to the truth as well. Uh, nine of uh, cups here. They lied about the kind of love they were offering you. They lied about uh, the stability of their love. They uh, lied. They could have lied about uh, their own. Um, they could have lied about the uh, basically the um, the quality of their character, like the quality of their personality. As I was talking, one of uh, one of the oracle cards just like tried to fall off the table. I'll show you which one it was. Demeter, um, the goddess of the harvest in this or oracle deck. She's represented as the mother. They could have lied about their family. They could have lied about uh, having children. Maybe they had secret children with someone. They could have lied about the women in their life in general. Uh, they could have lied about um, a baby daddy, baby mama situation. Whatever it was, like it was all lies. Like all around and you just kept on unraveling this over and over and over again this is a situation that could have been very beautiful in the beginning and then it just escalated this person could have had addictions too they might uh, like to drink a little too much they might like to party a little too much this person is not like a serious this is not a serious kind of soul this is someone who's just kind of out there for themselves i see a lot of defensive energy here with this person i don't really see this person other than this smug figure here uh, with these Nine of Cups here. Uh, the Nine of Cups is an interesting card for me because uh, I know it's like wish fulfillment and it's like an amazing card and everything. I always like, I don't know if it's like an internal um, problem with me that I may be resisting something in this card, like resisting, sati being satiated. But I don't, I don't, I sometimes don't like this card very much. This is, you know, this person looks smug. This is like a Cheshire, Cheshire cat grinning. I don't like this. I don't like this character. I don't like them. This is, you know who this reminds me of? This reminds me of the, the all the innkeepers in the story of Jesus where the, like, you know, Mary and Joseph are trying to find a place to stay and every innkeeper is like, there's no room at the inn. That's the guy. Like, that's the that's the guy who said that. He's like, there's no room at the inn. He's got all these cups. He has all this stuff behind him. But he's like, no, you can't have it. I don't know. I just, um, I get a bad vibe from this card sometimes. So I feel like this person uh, is someone who could have a lot of uh, plenty in their life. They could have a lot of abundance, but they don't like to share it. Yeah, this person feels disappointment at the situation and at their own behavior. They would like to start again with you actually they know they effed up they'd like to start again but the lies are so many it's hard to start again i don't feel like your person was cheating on you or anything like that i don't think they were seeing other people even if it's a new connection bimbo himbo from bumble i don't think they were um like you know talking to other people dating like i don't think they were like multiple dating what they were doing however is they were hiding stuff about themselves from you. So they lied about their status or they lied about having children. They lied about a bunch of things, lied about addictions, lied about the content um, of their bank account. Like 
ev like everything. Like this person is just full of lies. They have a problem. This person has a problem. You were searching for answers in this connection and you couldn't find them. This person feels really ashamed and disappointed. Five of Cups. They're mourning this connection. And with this Two of Wands and Ace of Cups here, I feel like this person feels like they want to come back to you. They want to come back around. Um, this is someone who's planning a return so they can start love again here with this um, Ace of Cups. They want to offer you love again uh, the way that you deserve it through them. Well, I mean, I, I was going to say, let's take a look at how Scorpio feels about this. I don't think I, we need to look at the cards, boo, boo I already know how you feel about this. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm Oh, Scorpio, we got the devil card for you here. This is how you feel about this. See you in hell. <laughs> See you in hell, baby. Yeah, when hell freezes over, when pigs fly. Interesting, interesting combination here. You got the uh, Seven of Swords next to the devil and on the other side, the Six of Pentacles, okay? Six of Pentacles came out first and we <laughs> graduated to the devil. Uh, well, very Scorpio vibes. Smack, smack in the middle is Seven of Swords. This is someone who uh, you also feel a little bit like this guy here, no room at the end kind of situation. But you feel, um, you feel self satisfied because you uncovered all these secrets. Uh, there's a kind of sick, there's a kind of sick satisfaction to. Uh, the, I feel like every Scorpio will will relate to this. There's a sick Scorpio satisfaction to uncovering someone's secrets. Um, that nobody else uh, saw uh, seeing through. Like, you know, when you get a hunch, that Scorpio vibe, Scorpio feeling, hunch, suspicion, we're always right. And uh, you have that kind of a feeling about this person. And um, I feel like other people never saw this side of th that person, like never really called them out. And you did, and you were right, and you spied it. Like, you, you're like super spy, you know? And uh, even though it hurts you because you uncovered secrets that were hurtful to you, lies that this person told you, it broke your heart at the same time, you're kind of like, yeah, I told you so. I knew it. Like, I knew it. I was right. I knew it. Um, the devil here, you're like, you're not letting this go. Uh, not in the sense of, like, that you're still clinging to this person, but you're not letting this go in terms of, like, what you uncovered was so distasteful to you you're not going to let it go. You're not going to just accept any old explanation, excuse, lie from this person. You, you know, you need there to be some kind of a reckoning with this person. You would like to still get closure. You would like to still get some kind of an explanation, um, perhaps, but you're not really, I don't think you're in the mood for a reconciliation with a capital R at the moment, Six of Pentacles here. Um, you would consider talking to this person where they to prostrate themselves um, and kneel before you. Maybe in those circumstances for five seconds, but not <laughs> not anymore. You know what I mean, Scorpio? You're like, you're not in a general, generous mood here. Um, hmm. There could be something about money here too, Scorpio. Um, I wonder if this person tried to manipulate you with money and you're in a for some reason your situation with money changed from uh, the time when you uncovered all these secrets and now this person doesn't know that you actually have improved your money situation and they can't manipulate you based on that anymore. The hanged man, um, a lot of this energy here hanging. You know, you really kind of hung this person up to dry. Like, when they effed you over with their lies, you're like, okay, here's your punishment, you know? This person thought that they could get away with anything. They thought they were so smart and so clever because they fooled everyone but you. Yeah, Nine of Swords. They're worried, very worried. This person knows they lost you. Maybe the, uh, this person could even be scared of of further consequences you know if you're um this was like a marriage maybe you have uh like a divorce pending and this person is scared that they're going to be losing money uh that they have to give you that they're going to owe you money i'm good for you screw you take all the money take the liar's money boo -boo. take it all spend it on ice cream i don't know what you gotta do but you gotta do what you gotta do boo boo Ugh. This person is so yucky. Okay. <laughs> they want to have a conversation with you. 
they want to talk ten of cups at the bottom of the deck what they're hoping is uh, for a reconciliation uh in uh going into the sun they want to revive this uh, how though i don't know they they still want to revive this uh they still want to revive this connection their next action towards you will be to send you a message they're going to come in from the cold literally coming in from the cold five of pentacles um into the page of cups uh, they've been thinking long and hard about the situation uh, they've been taking a long hard look at themselves and they've decided that they have no choice but to message you no choice but a message is coming scooby a message is coming from this person uh, they don't want to be out in the cold anymore they're com they want to come back in maybe we're in a situation where they had to leave a, a like a mutual like a place where you live together or if it's a ghoster, this is someone who's going to send you a message, basically. They don't want to be out in the cold anymore. They want to communicate because they're by themselves. They're really by themselves. They want to talk. A uh, queen of swords. They want to talk, but they know. <laughs> it's like this person is going to message you, but they know that uh, this could be uh, the fastest way um, available to them to a very quick execution, like, you know, uh, morally speaking, because the Queen of Swords is a cutting off energy as well. This is, um, you know, justice personified in many cases. Uh, this is someone who r rules fairly, but harshly. So, um, uh, this person knows that you're, uh, it's like you're, you're well of, um, you're well of feelings, you're well of, uh, um, love for them has run dry. Because Scorpio love goes deep. It's like a well, but it will run dry, baby. And when it runs dry, that's it. Like, that is it. Can you tell me more about the Queen of Swords? <laughs> yeah, but this person... It's like this person has a lot of self-awareness. I'll, I'll give them that, baby. This person is fully aware that they're coming in like a fool. Um, they're, they're walk. It's like this person knows after everything that's happened that you uncovered, this person realizes that they're walking into the lion's den here. This is a fool walking towards this queen who's about to uh, cut their, you know, mm -mm -mm, off, you know, whatever applies to you, you know, in your particular gender identification. But this is someone's going to get something cut off, okay? Um, and this fool knows it. They know they behave foolishly and they know it's foolish to try and talk to you again, but they can't help it. They know they have to try again. Let's get some advice here for you, please. Uh, ooh, okay. Well, that's, I'm just going to take those. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, the advice is Queen of Swords again and the Hermit again. So, uh, you have the Hermit. That was one of the first cards we got. So this person made you feel lonely and alone. This person tried to keep you in the dark. This person wasn't there for you, boo boo. So I feel like the angel advice here is, remember how this person made you feel. And, you know, this queen is really good at um, cutting off um, elements, elements and, um, that might be, you know, slowing her down. So elements um, like... It's like, it's like surgery, you know, it's like, it's like spiritual surgery. So she's, she's, she's like a surgeon. She's cutting off everything that is a cancerous, a cankerous on her body, within her mind and her soul and her heart. Uh, it's hard being the queen of swords, Scorpio. Uh, it's also Scorpio vibes here, you know, it's hard being the queen of swords, but the queen of swords, the reason why she has to cut things off in her life that don't serve her is because she's actually, a, she has a direct connection to heaven. Uh, and she has a direct uh, connection to angels, to uh, the ethereal, to the higher ground. Um, I love the Queen of Swords because she has butterflies in her hair. Uh, she has butterflies in her crown. Her crown is made of butterflies. Oh, I just, I'm tearing up. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm so emotional. I'm just such a Scorpio. <sighs> At least when I read tarot, I can let the, um, you know, sweet Scorpio out. Um, She has to keep her her aura and her, her, her energetic field. She, she, anyone in between. But, you know, gender is arbitrary. It's only energy. But this queen, she has to keep herself pure uh, because she has this direct connection to the higher uh, power, the higher ground. ground. 
Um, and her path in life is to do higher things, to achieve higher things. And the counterpart she requires is someone who will lift her up in that, not someone who will disappoint her, you know, not someone who will um, bring her down, not someone who will bring poison into her life. So, I mean, take it as it resonates, boo-boo. This is the advice. You're going to do what you want to do, boo-boo. This person is coming back in for a conversation. A message is coming. Uh, let's get, uh, okay. Okay. Before I even said it, they already had something for you. Okay, so this is the angel oracle for you. Uh, it says, uh, so three cards are true love, unrequited love, and chemistry. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is the problem here. Uh, you probably can't see this very plainly, but um, this is like a, like a toxic relationship ready, like ready and waiting to be uh, reignited because uh, on the one hand, it's something that feels like true love and I'm sure it does and I'm sure it is even for your person, the fool, I'm sure it is, it, it, you know, their own version of that. It is true love, but it's also unrequ unrequited love. I don't feel like it's because you don't love this person or this person doesn't love you or just one person is in love. I think you're both in love with each other, but unfortunately, it's the kind of love that is toxic that leaves one person always feeling alone and unfortunately, it's you skip you and you have to... Um, think about how that is impacting your life and how you can cure yourself, you know, what kind of surgery can be performed here to fear, free yourself of this burden um, or whether you think you can continue with it and you can kind of heal it by being within it. But that, you know, that is the tricky part here because, you know, that queen, she needs to be high up in the sky, uh, high up on a high vibrational level. So how do you get to that level when you persist in that kind of a connection? And chemistry, it's hard to leave this connection because there's amazing chemistry here. That is the problem. Uh, you keep going back to it because of the chemistry. Let's see what else is coming in here for Scorpio. Please show me angels. Uh, what other love is coming in for Scorpio in the next three weeks? There's always love, boo-boo. As long as you're open, your heart is open, there's always love possibilities. Yeah, absolutely. Queen of Wands could be someone coming in for you in the next three weeks who has the hots for you, like with a capital H, boo-boo. Someone could have really have the hots for you. Someone might be coming in um, to n not just like, you know, in a flush, flush bedroom kind of way, but like someone who could really be a great partner for you too. Could be... Um, uh, fire sign energy could be a fiery personality it could be someone with a lot of passion mm, but definitely someone who's super attracted to you um very exciting and passionate could be uh, i mean i don't know uh, i don't know what your situation is how you uh how you rule but uh there's nothing wrong with a good quality high quality rebound that could be it uh, could be um, could be the beginning of a beautiful, uh, long-lasting relationship as well. It's all up to you. It's all about free will and the choices that we make, boo-boo. So that is what I have for you today, Scoobies, at the, the uh, Secret Scoobie Club. Um, um, I'm sorry there was a little bit of drama in this reading. I know it's not, like, ideal when we have to kind of, you know, look at situations where maybe the person, you know, maybe the person we're reading for is not 100% the best for us but I, I don't see like super bad intentions here either but I do see a problematic chronic habitual liar and someone who is literally a fool so um take it as it resonates boo boo let me know in the comments below uh if this resonated for you and uh tell me your story because I'm always curious to hear your story Scorpio and if you want to be entered in the com not competition but it's like a, a lucky draw for a free reading um please uh take a look at the description box below uh, Demi Wild's information is there. Demi is a friend of the channel. We will be doing collabs together and uh, because we'll be doing that we want to get to know each other better. So one way to do that is for you to go to his channel linked in the description box below. Uh, subscribe to his channel and comment on one of his videos. Doesn't matter which one, any video at all. Um, uh, and the comment just needs to be Blue Angel or Blue Angel Tarot. And then we'll know that you want to be entered into the lucky draw. And we will choose one person at the end of the month randomly by chance. Um, 
or not. Like, if you don't believe in chance, but we'll, we'll choose one lucky Scorpio, a blue angel. Uh, we'll choose one person to get uh, a free reading from either me or uh, Demi. And also, Demi will be doing some lives with us uh, from now on and other stuff. So uh, keep your eyes uh, peeled for that information, boo boo. Uh, I love you, Scorpios. You know how much I love you. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Let me know. Let me know how you're doing as well. I hope this reading helped you a little bit. I wish love was easier, but it is It is what it is. Sometimes love is just a little trashy and tacky. I love you, boo-boo. I'll see you next time, and may the angels protect you.